Hello everyone. So today I will be putting together the South Shore Libra Collection 3 drawer chest that's black. I got it for $67.99 shipped with Prime off of Amazon. You can see the size um, comparison we have here is a 2 liter bottle of soda. Um, yeah. So let's see how much the thing weighs. It was pretty heavy. Um, I was able to carry it up two flights of stairs by myself, but I'm a young guy. Okay, how much is it weigh? Weighs 60 pounds. Tools required. First, need two people. We'll try to do without that. Uh, need a hammer, a Philip, and a Robertson. That one, I have to grab an S1. It's labeled right there, S1. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so, um, <laughs> don't make the same mistake I just made. S1, S, S1, S. Okay. Um, the reason why S1 is having such a tight fit is because these don't belong in S1, they belong in S. That's why this one was so easy to put together. So I'm gonna take this one off. Here's the difference between it. This is the S, this one's S, this is the S1. The difference are in the holes. You see how the S1 has um, two additional holes. Right there. And right there. Really easy. Okay, so just push it in. You don't, you don't need a hammer really for this. Ta da! Make sure there's no gaps. If you don't have a hammer, you can use this. It doesn't even damage the wood. There's no way that you could hammer this in. You would have to use this tool. Step two. <laughs> they should really label these. This one's T. Label in the back, T. Um, sorry. So I guess we'll insert it anyway. I don't. I don't know how, but just ta-da. And I'm going to do that for all three of the T's. That's done with T's. And it also says in, in step two to take S and S one and put the same pegs into them. Now step three. These are the R. This is S1. Take the S1. Make sure the line is closer to, is closest to you with this this part of the slider facing out. Then, yay. And then you take an S board and it will through the same way. So make sure that the slider is facing out as well. Ta da! There's a step in step four, that should have been step three. So before you insert these uh, S boards into the R board, you want to install this thing into the S boards. Because when you do that, I'll slide right into the T board. I'm oh, sorry, to the R board. Oh, fuck. And then you're gonna screw. You know, take a screw, this big fat screw, this one right here. The hole inside this board is not even, it's a little off. So because it's a little off, it makes this piece a lot off. So instead of in going uh, straight up and down, it's off-centered and goes to the right a little. 
Next, next we will take cut. one of the U boards. What you do is you slide it in with the uh, the finished the finished side uh, facing up, so that when you look in, um, it will look nice. I'm guessing. Shallow too, kind of shallow. Let's see how deep it is. That deep right there. So about the size of my palm. That helps me. Here's a Watto. Four and a quarter inches deep. It's not that deep. So now step five. I just did by sliding this in. Next, we take a a T board. So the T boards are the back of the drawers. Finished side is facing in. Step seven is to take the nails and hammer them in to the back. Six nails in all. Um, I don't have anything to nail it with. What I'm doing is I'm holding the backboard down because it's kind of curved so that at least flush with uh, the base. Let's see how sturdy this thing is. Oh, yeah, that'll hold. Put the handles on. I always change them because these don't look too nice. Um, it looks like one side is um, smoother or more well done than the other. So make sure you put the side that looks nicer up top, facing upwards, I mean. I don't know why I'm taking this, it's so simple. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and, and put together the the other two um, drawers. Uh, don't need to film that because the same steps. Uh, step nine is using the C boards, I think it's the side walls of the dresser. So the C board has all these holes for the uh, the sliders to install. They're all the same, they're all called 23, so uh, there's only one way to put it on, so just put it on. Now we are going to install these uh, the short screws um, into the uh, holes of each one of these sliders. On to step 10, we take these rubber rings, take the ring and just wrap it around the slider. I guess it's to uh, you put one one ring on each. So you put the rings on the opposite side of where the two holes are. Then we take uh, in step 11 we take this screw and place them in here. There's there's uh, two holes uh, on C that you can place these in. I don't know what they do. In step 12, we take this thing and place them in these holes. Right here. One here and one here. So on these uh, things, there's an arrow. You want to place the arrow facing outwards. I guess you, I guess you want to insert something into here um, to lock it in place. So just go ahead and push it in. And make sure the arrow is pointing towards the hole outwards. Go ahead and adjust it too with the screw. Let me go ahead and do that other side now. So this is one side. We finish the other. So 
There's only four holes in here. Pretty straightforward. So now we're on to step 13. We are going to take the D board, which is the long black board. Put the four holes on the sides. Insert the black plastic dowels. mistakes so you don't have to okay um, you see how the side is wood you want to put the black side all on one side um, so those middle things do have to face upward <coughs> Yeah. 